Alright, I am back for episode 6 of my adventure. Um, I've just gotten 1.9 pre-release, as you can see in the top left corner, and I decided I would build a new world and uh, check out the nether which seems to be the focus of the changes uh, so I use the same seed as my natural world and some things have changed um, other things haven't I have a different city which I'll show you in just a second um, of course everything that I did in the other world isn't here uh, so I decided to rebuild my house um, put, putting glass here instead um, so I'm going to go show you the city and the new NPCs. Okay, my house is right up there, and over there is the original spawn point, and here's the new town. So, um, I've noticed some things, apparently, uh, just because a town is supposed to spawn here does not mean that it's going to spawn the same every time. Uh, it's a completely different layout and uh, there's other things I've noticed. I went underground a little bit and found a uh, mob spawner in a completely different uh, position. So this is the new town. The little fields have been put in different places. Uh, houses have moved around. Um, and apparently all the NPCs ran away. I don't know where they are. That's odd, they were here. <laughs> uh, there's about three of them running around. Yeah. Oh, 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 there is one of them. They all have the same little name above them. Testificate, yes. Testificate? Guessing it's because they're test. They have large noses very large noses and they fold their arms um, kind of monkishly uh, I think there's about three in this town I've seen two of them with brown coats and one with a white coat who doesn't appear to be... Oh, 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 there he is okay so apparently they know where their houses are and they go back to it I had to dig them out so here's a white coated Testificate Monk. Um, I shared his house for the first night here. Um, so, uh, I'm going to go back up the house and we're going to go to the nether. Okay, if you remember um, way back, I think episode one with my spawn point, there was a lava, um, lava pit. So I went over there after crafting buckets and got my lava and poured have a poured obsidian gateway and here we go got my iron sword already I'm very eager to see uh, the changes that have been made hopefully we'll get to see them they didn't make any odd errors that will cause it to crash frame rate issues, but that's the kind of be expected. Okay. Always a little bit odd first time coming to the nether on a new world. Of course you can see it loading. Da -da -da. I did not have enough time to craft a bow and uh, arrows, so I'm defenseless against ghasts. Um, let me wait for the whole thing to load and then I'll continue the video. Okay, I think it's all loaded. I am being visited by a few zombie pigmen. Uh, I have not seen anything new though. Hmm. Let's bench 
mature out a little bit. I see a flying pigman. Drop from up there. Uh, burning pigman. Nothing right away, so I will pause the recording and start it up again when we find something new. Okay, first new thing for 1.9 is that thing. Um, some sort of sort of a lava fire slime creature I shall attack it whoa that's kind of odd actually it's really odd I wonder if it's what is it doing I'm confused it died it became little ones but you become little ones they really appear to be stuck in the lava. Um, can I get them out? Ooh, oh. I don't know how weird they jump really odd. Can they hurt me? That's the question. The little guys do not seem to be able to hurt me. And if I kill them, experience. But that's it. onward. Okay, I found a couple more of these slime lava thingies. And it's interesting watching them jump around. They're quite comical. And they have no fear of heights. They jump right off. Uh, let's watch them. Whee! <laughs> ah, quite amusing. Quite amusing, but uh, apparently they don't have any drops, so uh, kind of useless. Um, and right now, I am lost. I have absolutely no clue how I got to where I am. I started running from a couple gas, and yeah, I'm trying to find my way back. So. Uh, as I'm going, of course, I'm looking for the new the new content, and it sounds like there's a guest right above me. Great. Above me. Of course he is. Um, wow, this is not good. This is not good. Trying to find anything that looks familiar that I can try to figure out how to get back to my portal. Um, I know I should have set up uh, some sort of a, a breadcrumb trail, but I didn't. And I always could just die, but uh, I got all this nice glowstone dust that I don't want to lose. So hopefully, I will find my way. Okay, I just came down here using up my last pick. So I made a crafting table, made a couple new picks, turned around and <gasps> I found my way home. I have no clue how I did that, but I'm very excited about it. So uh, now I get to figure out a way to make a breadcrumb trail. I'll go home and get rid of my glowstone dust first.